Bilgahan, my trusty old horse. I'm going to go and leave you here. You're going to find your own way back to the to the stables. I think we need about 20 of those. And you know what we should have done? Go out to get some more hardwood. I was so excited about the telephone. Hardwood tomorrow. Krobus! Honey, I'm home! We now have a telephone! Isn't that cool, Krobus? I want to be a good housemate for you, but I never know if I'm doing well. Grown. Oh, Krobus, that is so sad. <laughs> Oh really? That is another option. You can talk to people while they're on a, while you're on a horse. That's cool. Ah, totally gonna try that out. So that goes in here. As soon as that's ready, I know that all my other things are ready because the bus stop is something you don't you don't often walk past. Telephone. I think we're gonna do this like in the sixties, where the telephone's kind of next to your entrance door. Uh, we don't. There we go. Or in the middle of the room. That's also cool. What is this again? This. Oh, this is a workbench. We, that needs to go outside. Sorry. Also got a, got a few more things to sell here. I don't think we need clay for anything ever. I don't think that. And that's just, yeah, there, perfect. The workbench, yes, I'm tr thinking of putting the workbench uh, somewhere in the middle here so that all the adjacent things can can look at it. So this might not be the, the final place. I had a really good setup when I left the game last time, but I, I totally forgot what that was. Let's try out the telephone. It's going to be so cool. So here it is. The main attraction in the room. Oh, please select a number. Oh my God. Let's call Robin at 10 past 12 at night. Hey, it's Robin. I'll be busy for the next few days working on a project. Beep. Yes, that's right. She's going to put shortcuts in, isn't she? In throughout Stardew Valley. It takes three days. She should be ready Saturday, Sunday, kind of Monday, Tuesday. Great. Who else are we gonna call? Check store inventory. Check building upgrade costs. Oh, hang up. That is so cute. So if you think, well, how much wood did I need to bring? You can just go and do that and say, yeah, hey, okay, that um, a coop costs me four thousand and three hundred wood and a hundred stones. Okay. Very cool. Who else are we gonna call? Clint. And time stands still while we do that. You've reached Clint's answering machine. I'm not available right now. My business hours are 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Beep. Okay. Check for tool upgrades. Everything's out of stock. Thanks, Clint. That's that's really helpful. I'm glad you have that service now. Oh, what were we doing without a telephone? I got the telephone from Robin's place. That was seriously cool. And now we can just phone people randomly at, at, after midnight and stuff. Pierre. That is so cool! Thank you for calling Pierre's General Store. We're closed at the moment, but our store hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. See you then! Beep. And then you can check the store inventory. This is really cool, so if you want to have something upgraded and you need to check what you need to bring next time you get there, you can do that! Check store inventory! Grass starter kit and how much it costs, that's great. Can we also order over the phone? Is that possible? If I wanted to have, I don't know, uh, some grass? Nah, sadly I can't. I can only see that. But that would be good if they had like an Instacart tie in there. Oh, can you imagine? Home delivery powered by Instacart. Put your order in and then tomorrow morning the cherry sapling is going to be at your doorstep. That is so cool. Don't forget to tip the driver. Marnie, what's available after midnight? Hello, you've reached Marnie's Ranch. My business hours are 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please come visit me then. Beep. Okay. Check livestock prices. <gasps> Requires... Oh, yeah, I've destroyed all my things, haven't I? Ah, oh, what a shame. There are golden chickens, my friend. I tell you, there are golden chickens. Gus! Are you still open? Gus! And everything has a different number, too. That is so cool. Hello, this is Gus from the Stardrop Saloon. We're currently closed. Please stop in between 12 p.m. and 12 a.m. if you'd like some of our delicious food and drink. We do not do home delivery. Oh, and interestingly, I don't know why, I'm just noticing that Gus has a purple Stardrop symbol next to his phone. Not everybody has that. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Let's see if we phone Robin again just because we can. Does she have a star drop symbol? 
She also has one. But not everybody does. What does that mean? Interesting. How about Pierre? Did he have that? I did, totally didn't see that. Jay phones random people. Yes, also has a startup thing. I don't know what that means, but there's got to be a significance around that. Don't you think? All right. Well, um, thanks. I think I'm going to go to bed. I may actually, even though I, I should really stop, but I, it is so cool. I think, should we, should we play one more day? Should we play one more day? Let's just do the hard, hardwood thing here. I need, I need more hardwood. I need more hardwood.